Um, this is the energy vibration reading for um, the fire element people. That is for the Aquarian, the, the um, Leo, the Sagittarius, and the Ophiosus. Um, as of this month, happy Valentine's to each and every person. As of this month, um, the general readings are going to be done via element signs. So you have to learn your element. We have the Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Ophiosus. As you would like to have the extended to these reading for each individual sign, um, use the link and uh, um, join the channel and you can receive these extended readings. In order to pick up your own readings um, from this video, use the stamp, the timestamp below this video and uh, go and check out if you're Aquarian, Leo or Sagittarians or Ophiosis. Okay, so from this month, um, you are going to be having that. If you want to see your extended, there is extended and extended is up to 30 minutes. All right, let's see what is coming out. So we see you are coming in this month connecting um, with past life. Okay, so um, after um, this reading, you can go and use uh, the link to check out um, whether you're an Aquarius, um, Leo, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Ophiosis. Okay, so first the general. So in the general, we have past life is coming up. And... Uh, then we have unexpected gifts. So some of you could be meeting someone from a past life and this person um, could be surprising you. Um, it could be um, someone who you have um, reconciliate with that is coming in. Some of you could be getting pregnant whenever, whenever the gift and the children come up. Some of you could be getting pregnant in this month. So the possibility does exist, okay? Then we see spiritual relationships. So some of you could be meeting someone who is going to help you grow spiritually um, in a relationship. And that is very good. I see the twin flames is also coming out. So um, you guys are definitely connecting with twin flame and they could be coming in from past life. OK, I see a lot of fun times. So that's when you guys are going to be getting pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant. You got to be aware of this. Then I see some obstacles and some block with your soulmate or twin flame. Um, obstacles and block with your twin flame. Be aware of that. I see beautiful lady. It's going to affect you beautiful ladies or beautiful people who are dating. You're going to be having a lot of fun. But I see that you're block from your twin flame. Um, the energy of the month is going to affect the blondes, the, the blondes lady, okay? Um, so the blonde ladies, you could be meeting your twin flame and soulmate, and this is going to be good. Whatever is transpiring, um, I see positive alignment of energies. So please be careful, ladies and gentlemen, because pregnancy is showing up into this month. Um, some of uh, you blonde ladies could be finding out that um, you can't get pregnant and that is going to be because you're really hoping for kids. And uh, some of you blonde ladies could be, um, having fun. Be careful because, um, a spiritual kid, you could be getting a spiritual kid, but I see some of you are blocked where, um, it's as if you can't get pregnant. Okay. Um, young, beautiful ladies, you're blocked from your twin flame. So be aware of that. I see people are reconnecting with their um, children, father or someone from a past. OK, so be aware of that. All right. So Aquarius, you're the first. So let's see what's coming up for the Aquarius with spiritual growth. So this is good. Just breathe. Just breathe, Aquarius, because I see you have met someone. You really like this person. This person is going to be healing you and teaching you to grow spiritually in healthy relationships in this month. So this is a really positive and really good because whoever this person is, is going to be coming in and teach you how to love again, you Aquarius. Then I see leader. This is really positive. This is good. I see a lot of you could be meeting people in high position and you're having a lot of fun times with them. So whoever you are, I see that some of you could be, you Aries could be men um, 50 years and older, could be having some fun time 
with um, a younger person someone new um, that you have met so that is coming in then I see some of you are going out having a lot of fun meeting people in huge corporation and um, that sort of energy is coming up where a lot of you young people who are going out having fun it is the month of Valentine I see some of you could be connecting with internet date going online looking for dates that is also coming out if you want to know um, more you have to connect um, to the channel then I see transition I see the block between you and your twin flame is going to be lifted whatever the issue and the block was I see the block between you and your twin flame is definitely going to be lifted some of you were blocked from your twin flame especially you beautiful ladies we're blocked from your twin flame, but I see the block is going to be lifting up. I see you guys are going to be finding balance if you're in a twin flame relationship or if you're married. Um, whatever is transpiring with your marriage, I see you're going to be finding the balance and healing whatever that was affecting your marriage. And this is going to bring positive alignment of energy in your marriage or in your relationship. People who have kids, I see... Um, um, some of you choose your battle wisely because some of you are, um, you know, having a fights with your son, father, your mother, uh, or um, your children, um, uh, either your partner, um, over um, money for the kids. And these are people who you have, it's either your ex or, and I see choose your battle wisely because what is coming up is that you Aquarians, if you push the button too much, I see this person is going to think, okay, well, I don't have to pay. I'm not sure that this kid is mine. So whatever is transpiring, this person has some power over you, Aries. So be aware because this person is coming up as uh, your, 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 um, your child's father or your child's mother or your ex. And I see that some of you have a kid, but it's not for that person, but they just take take care of this kid. And I see that this is a situation where you could be pushing too hard and this person might be saying, hey, I don't have to pay for this kid because it's not mine. I see um, positive energy is going to be coming out, especially for your crown chakra. I see that you guys are going to be more connected with a spirit world because you're connecting with someone from a past life and this person is coming in to activate something which is your heart chakra but it's going to be activating your crown chakra so be aware of this because there are wonderful positive energies that could be coming in so an ex might be coming back or someone who you have known in a past life might be just unexpectedly coming in your life and this person is going to be healing the art chakra but also the crown chakra and that is going to be good i see change your focus because some of you are too focusing on getting pregnant okay and um i know you're you're trying to manifest the child and you're manifesting your soulmate twin flame they're definitely going to be coming in in this month if you want but you need to change your focus because if you're in a relationship and you're sending out the focus that's something um, that your partner is doing something that is what is going to be happening so you need to change your focus just enjoy the time some of you um, someone from the past is coming back in your life this person is as if the universe is returning this person in your life because you were meant to be with this person at the time that you met this person it wasn't the right time and now they're coming back I see the master is coming in and this is really good so some of you um, could be realizing that if you're in a relationship um, unexpectedly if you're trying to get pregnant and you couldn't get pregnant I see unexpectedly um, you're gonna be meeting someone and like the first time you're gonna be pregnant so be aware of this so this is fertility this is the time that fertility is coming up and it's going to be like magic because whoever this person is um, you were meant to conceive with this person so be aware of this this is going to be happening so if you don't want to get pregnant and it's going to affect the ladies between the ages of um 26 and 45 so be be very careful it's like the universe is going to bless you with this child and some of you um weren't looking forward to it and uh, some of you could be finding out that this happened um a couple months ago and now you're finding out always keep a child ladies and gentlemen trust me the universe always provide 
because there are thousands of people in this world that can't have a child and um, they will be just so happy if you have a child and uh, um, you are not capable to take care of it. There's a lot of people who want who are asking for um, drag mothers so where um, mothers to carry their babies. So find someone and don't uh, um, just give up a baby um, like that, but find someone who will basically um, happy to share the lives of this baby with you. I see open up um, you blonde ladies you need to open up more you need to speak up more you are closing off your heart chakra you blonde ladies need to heal your heart chakra whatever is transpiring you're the center of this month so um, if you have closed off your heart because of some heartache some pain um, whatever that was happening now is the time to open up your life then we see the energy um, so this is really wonderful and it's really positive i see that you blonde ladies need to get out there get out there have some fun because you might just meet the man of your dreams okay i see you men 50 years and older you're having a lot of fun you're like breaking it down having a lot of fun so i want you aquarius uh, aries to um to um connect and i see some of you um um Aries are going to be meeting Aquarian people and these are the right people to connect with. They will come in as a twin flame or soulmate. Um, happy Valentine's and I'm out. All right. Um, Leos. Leos, 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 Leos. Okay. Leos, I see um, dream time and decision. Okay. Daydreaming and decision. This is a good card to begin um your love reading with because this is the energy of love now um i see some of you are going to be meeting um um someone who is unexpectedly but this person is coming in and teaching you lt boundaries in a relationship and this is going to be good so um some of you could be meeting someone that is going to be coming in and teaching you healthy boundaries about relationship and i also see multiple opportunities so if you're there looking for a relationship this could be um the month that you could be meeting um someone and this could be an aquarius okay then we're looking at fun terms i see the, the um the partners the people who are married are going to be really having some happy fun terms Whatever the issue and the situation is, I see this is going to be resolved. I see you guys are really happy, really doing well, really having fun, and this is going to be good for you guys. So however this was coming up, this fun time is really, really going to be very positive because I see husband and wife, oh, love bonds, love bonds. So it is a good month for you, Leos, when it comes on to love. I see some of you could be bonding, especially um, you young ladies. Um, you young ladies, I see you could be bonding. This is going to be good. Some of you a beautiful young men and women are going to be finding a new love. So new love um, is going to be coming up. I see um, you're really excited about this. So there was some blockages. There was some blockages. Um, some of you were having challenge times with your relationship, but I see this is going to be ended. So some of you um, were having some challenge time in your relationship there was some conflicts there was your relationship was kind of out of balance you had really some challenges time this is going to be resolved in this month it's going to be changing people who are looking for soulmates um twin flames i see this is going to be coming in for you guys some of you could be meeting a twin flame um and this especially um the um you guys are definitely going to be meeting twin flames in this month and i see you're going to be knowing exactly when you meet this person that they are your twin flame somehow you're just going to be feeling it understanding it and realize that this person was you you guys were meant to meet and this is a twin flame that is coming in and it's as if the energy is so it could be an aries that is coming in for you guys as a twin flame in this month okay so i see give and receive so some of you um are kind of discussing whether or not you should have kids i see some of you want to have kids i see your partner might not be ready um so i see it's going to be some challenges between 
um, you and your partner decided whether or not you want kids when is the time is right because I see you women are ready but your partner is not yet ready so give them some time try and work this out because I see you're going to be having a lot of challenges coming up with kids some of you could be having challenges coming up with kids because your child um, father hasn't paid this person um, this person could be um, um, haven't paid and you're kind of having some challenging moment with this person okay I see some of you feeling alone and uh, um, you know whenever you're feeling alone just call upon your angels and spirit guides and let them know that you know you're ready for a relationship now whatever is happening and transpiring you're definitely ready for a relationship so I see some of you are hoping and wishing and manifesting this is really a month if you have manifest your twin flame or soulmate is is a month for you to manifest because what we're seeing is that you're looking you're wishing you're open for um, this new relationship to come in and it's definitely going to be coming in but you have to start manifesting you have to start to tell the universe um, who you want and I see someone from a past life is going to be coming in it doesn't have to be in this month it could be in next month then we have the energy that some of you are going to be definitely working on your relationships whatever that was happening whatever the challenge is I see you change your focus about who you were dating or who you wants to date I see you change your focus in a relationship and more focusing on the positive things that you have a relationship and not focusing on the little things that irritates you and your partner so I see you're pushing forward in a very positive um, way where you're trying to let go of the little things about your partners that irritates you and look at uh, um, the good things. So I see you're letting go of the negative things and, uh, um, you know, uh, placing more focus on the positive things. And I see that this is going to be working out for you guys. So um, this is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. I see some of you um, if you were open to get um, pregnant I see some of you all of a sudden um, the money that was out there for your kids I see some of you are going to be getting help from a sperm bank or some of you someone is going to say yes to give your their sperms um, to get you pregnant so congratulations and you know say thank you to this person because um, it is better that you know the person that you're getting your sperm from instead of you go to a sperm bank that's just my idea or my opinion on this but someone who wanted um, help to get pregnant and you ask a friend or someone you know they are going to say yes so I don't see them um, going to be connecting with this child but um, they are going to be saying yes um, they will um, give it the sperm whatever is happening Leah's just reach out reach out in this month because if you reach out and open up yourself you're going to be seeing that universe is definitely definitely going to be sending someone in um, your way okay so let's say that you closed off yourself for quite some time and you're deciding now is the time to open up I see some of you are yawning to find a marriage partner or a partner to settle down with and I see you're going to be reaching out to people and friends and they're going to be helping you to find someone new so this is good so Leah's thank you for being here if you want to see the extended of this reading um, um, then you can use the join button to join and get your own extended Leah reading love readings alrighty um, have a wonderful month um, namaste well Sagittarian you are healing your relationship in this month so Saggy you come in with an healing whatever has happened and transpired for some of you in your relationship I see now you're able to breathe you're understanding you're healing your art chakra and this is good so whatever that has transpired, you know, there can be so many things. It could be a quarrel. It could be that someone um, who you thought was going to be with you for a while, they decide to move on. There was someone else. However, it is coming up. I see you're starting this month, um, this month of love, um, happy Valentine's. You're healing yourself and healing your art chakra. And this is going to be good for you, Saji then as we look we see simply love some of you are having fun and some of you are realizing that I don't need um 
to have a relationship I can enjoy myself and understand that love is the only thing that is so powerful and as I'm loving myself I can learn to love others and this is just going to be so powerful because I see you are enjoying but you're not really holding on and that I must have a relationship I must have a relationship it is as if you're just enjoying yourself and understanding that life is full of surprises and you're enjoying yourself while it lasts i don't see you're overdoing anything you're just understanding that when you love yourself enough to understand that it's good for me to be alone even though um you would like to get married or you'd like to have a relationship i see you're going to be feeling good in this month about yourself it's all about healing yourself and realizing that loving yourself first i see trust coming back in this relationship whatever is transpiring and happening i see some of you are learning to trust yourself especially young people some of you were burnt in the past and i see you're opening up your heart now learning to trust yourself i see you're trying not to make the same mistake and you know when you're young you're in love and you close your eyes and you fall so deeply and then people take advantage of you and i see that some of you had gone through that process and now you're learning to trust again so um kudos to you guys that is looking good um speak up some of you feel as if you are blocked in a relationship whatever that you feel as if you are blocked to meet your twin flame and soul mate you gotta speak up and you gotta call on the angels and guides um, for divine intervention to heal whatever is going on with you and to remove these blocks and as you do that you're going to be understanding through that you communicate and you call upon um, Archangel Shemuel, Archangel Raphael and the Cupid angels you're going to be seeing that they're coming in and they're going to be helping you because um, some of you feel as if you're blocked from a relationship and um, they're going to be coming in and helping you coming together is here whatever is transpiring and happening i see the energy of uh, some of you are going to be coming together with your twin flames this is the energy where i see um partners husband and wife relationships um i see finally the problems because a twin flame relationship takes seven to nine years before the problems are all cleared up okay twin flame relationship is about seeing um your partner the issues that your partner have that um, you're seeing the opposite of who you are. So it always takes seven to nine years. And I see finally um, you've gone through um, the last seven years and now you're coming out on top. You're coming together and you're understanding each other. It could also be a marriage. That's why seven years of bad marriage and then after the seven years, marriages are always good. All right. So I see a, a release. Some of you are releasing. And um, whenever this energy comes up, I think some of you are releasing um, the parent, one of the parents of your child. Whatever is transpiring, I see you decide to release um, an issue that you have been having with your child, mother or father. I see you decide I no longer is going to be fighting this issue anymore. I'm going to decide to just heal this issue, let it go. Um, and you are realizing that it is time to release your child, mother or father. I think that some of you were holding on to them, trying to realize, um, you know, are we going to be making it back true to each other? And I see that the universe is saying release, release because this relationship is over. Then I see um, some ex, some past life. Some of you, someone from um, a past life is going to be coming back in. And I see that this person, whoever this person is, it was meant. Okay. It's like you were destined to meet this person. It's going to be okay. Um, it, you have never met this person in this lifetime. Um, this person is coming through. Okay. So this person is going to be coming unexpectedly coming in your life and this is going to be good because what is going to be transpiring is that the question some of you have have met someone and is asking should i go along with this person should i um you know go to the next level with this person and it's a yes okay so if you want to ask someone to marry you it is a yes it is as if you were destined to meet you both were destined to meet 
positive alignment of energies for especially people um, who are meeting other people and kind of figuring out you know I see that some of you who have just met um, you're trying to work on a positive relationship and uh, some of you have come out of uh, relationships and now you're reconnecting with someone and I see this is really positive really positive alignment of energy that is going to be coming in and it's going to be wonderful because what is transpiring is that I see that some of you have gone through a hurtful relationship you have healed the heart chakra and now you're coming out and now you're understanding um, how this works out for you um, when you understand that heal in the past is much better before you start a new relationship so i see you heal in a past relationship stability is going to be coming in for some of you especially some of you who were hoping and wishing to have a child i see that help is going to be coming in whether um through medicine or alternative i see help is going to be coming in i see some of you were having um issues getting pregnant and that sort of a thing and i see unexpectedly um, um you know if you have three four times that you have have a couple of miscarriage i see the sun this the seed is going to be old and, and this is going to be good so Saji, that is um so beautiful so some of you were really having some health issues for you Saji, it's all about moving forward so it, it's not the end of a relationship some of you are just um healing yourself changing ways that you have done relationship in the past um this is good because it's as if you're healing yourself okay this is an energy where you're letting go on lt situations in relationship and you're changing the way you have gone through relationship or how your relationship was going and you're moving on a positive energy and this is really really positive so wonderful alignment so um saji i'm wishing you a wonderful beautiful month um um, you know enjoy your month saji um if you want the extended readings go um use the link join the channel and you will have the ex um the extended love reading all right so saji have a wonderful um valentine's namaste until next time all right ophiosis welcome this is the month of valentine's i want to say thank you for being here Thank you for being back it is a month of seeking i see that some of you are going to to seek you are you want to know um why is it that your relationship um that you have been choosing and the people in your life why hasn't this been working out for you and this is the month that you're going in and looking for healing however this is coming up for you you're definitely going in and looking for healing to heal whatever unhealthy issues that you're carrying from past life or from your family and you're going to be healing this issue and as you heal these issues what is going to be transpiring is that you're going to be understanding that certain situation and certain issues and certain um people in your life has been there for a reason and now you're going to be seeking a way to heal the unhealthy issues that you have been going through and that is going to be good as you do that definitely someone something is going to be coming in and aligned you and this is really good because whatever is transpiring i see um that because you are searching and seeking for where is the problems why am i having issues in my relationship i see that this is going to be coming in and um whatever is transpiring i see that you're going to be helped because the universe is going to be helping you to heal whatever the issue and the situation that has been affecting your relationship i see sadness and heartbreaks whatever is transpiring i see sadness and heartbreaks is coming up and it has to do with you young people between the ages of um young beautiful people heartbreaks and sadness is coming up so um be aware of that but after the heartbreaks and sadness i see you're going to be successfully overcoming a situation because i see some of you communicating um there was some issues in your relationship there was some sadness but you are communicating and i see this relationship is going to be healed okay whatever you communicate and whatever you say i see an healing is going to be coming in 
some of you are working on your marriages or working on your uh, soulmate twin flame relationship this is wonderful this is positive because what we're seeing is that you're rebuilding on your marriage what whatever that was working you're you're really looking at it and trying to heal it and to bring um, a new a sense of stability where you both are going to be coming together and work on your relationship okay some of you could be going to therapy but I see you want to rebuild I see some of you your wishes and dreams is going to be coming out especially when it comes on to kids I see some of you are deciding you have decided that yeah now is the right time to have um, kids your wishes and dreams are really going to be coming true some of you were um one was ready the other wasn't ready but now um you are totally ready you're both ready and i see well, um at one stop it's going to be happening for you guys some of you could be having twins so um be aware of that now i see that some of you have asked for a relationship someone is going to be coming in from a past life whoever this person is this person is the right person they're going to be embracing you in a very very good way they're going to be reliving the past life but in a different way to heal relationships and make sure that the issues and situation do not return into this past life in your relationship and this is going to be good so very wonderful alignment of energy because i see this person is coming in um from a good place so i see some of you are healing yourself but also healing um the hot the hurts that you have had in relationships so whether or not you're in a relationship whether or not you're about to start a relationship i see you're just going with the flow you're not pushing anything you're taking it one day at a time you're going with the flow and this is going to be good because this is bringing positive alignment of energy in your world so that is going to be very wonderful i see vitalize um some of you who were pregnant who were not feeling well i see you're going to be feeling much better in this month um some of you really want to get pregnant there's so much complications and that sort of a thing you and your partner has been going it going it and now finally you're getting over the first trimester this is looking good it is going to be okay and i see both of you are going to be coming back to normal and that is it I can't understand people who separate after their children is born because, you know, carrying a child is not one of the most easiest things. Some people does it very well, but some people have complications. And I think if two persons decide to have a child, you have to be there balancing out the situation. Some of you um, could be finding out that you're carrying twins or triplet. Um, this year, a lot of people are going to be having a lot of triplets because new energies is coming in on this planet. Less people are having kids. So I see this is going to be really wonderful for you guys. So it's positive alignment of energy. So the outcomes for you, um, Ophiosis, is that changes is coming in your relationship. But these changes is going to be very, very positive changes. Whatever the issue and the situation is, these changes are going to be healing you. Um, and this is going to be wonderful because whatever that has happened and transpired, I see this energy healing you, healing your relationship, and you are going to be leaving this month feeling good um, with yourself and feeling good with the relationship, whether or not you're in our in a relationship or not. You're going to be understanding that you're changing the way you look at relationship and you're going to be happy with yourself. So ladies and gentlemen, however this is affecting you, I want to congratulate you. Fire sign, you have been doing good. Ophiosis, you're doing well. And I want to say namaste until next time. Remember for the extended of this reading, you got to use the link here um, to get um, the extended um, Dale and um you can choose extended medium super and um by doing that you can get your extended readings so, ladies and gentlemen um um enjoy your valentine's month and i will speak to you next month